Now, when I say the words attractive woman, what comes to your mind first? Beautiful hair, perfect butt, nice boobs, sexy lips. You went physical on me, didn't you? You thought of physical attraction first rather than the other type of attraction, which is what I'm going to talk about in this video. And in this video right now, I'm going to be talking about how you can become the most attractive woman he's ever met. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Ladolce from sexyconference.com where I help the 21st century woman create a love life that she absolutely freaking loves. And this video is all about being the most attractive woman that a man has ever met. Now I get it, you've been told by society that physical qualities are really what attracts men. Well, I'm here to tell you that they are completely wrong. Nice hair, big boobs, butt, face, they're all going to, yes, physically attract men, make men pursue you, and certainly make men want to sleep with you. But it definitely doesn't mean you're going to find a great relationship. And as a matter of fact, a lot of very physically attractive women have a lot of dating troubles themselves. Sorry, Taylor, you'll find love someday. And at the same time, many women who can learn this one idea I'm gonna be talking about in this video, they can be the most attractive woman a man has ever met because that's gonna be harnessing this concept that I call emotional attraction. Emotional attraction is basically where a man truly cares about you on an emotional level. He wants to spend more time with you. He wants to be around you because he loves your personality and loves who you are, not so much a focus on your physical attraction. Now, I've been talking about emotional attraction for the past five years. I've been teaching this to so many millions of women all across the world. But I'm gonna talk about just one emotional attraction trigger that you really wanna focus in on when you first meet men. The way to be the most attractive woman a man has ever met is to be fun. Now let's play another word association here. What do you think of when I say you and a guy should go have some fun? You thought of sex, didn't you? This video is not about having sex with a guy in order to attract him. That's what boring girls do in order to attract men. This is all about being a unique personality that just draws him in. I want you to be the type of woman who is playful and can have fun and can enjoy her time when you're on a first date or a second date or a third date. Being a really attractive person in general and in life, and by the way, the same thing goes for men is all about being playful and fun and being able to really enjoy your time together. Dating is all about the experience that you have with one another and if that experience isn't playful and fun, he's not going to want to have another one. So for starters, tease him a little bit. It's okay to have a little bit of fun. If he says something a little ridiculous, poke fun of him. It's okay. I remember when I first met Jessica almost three years ago now, one of the first things I remember about her is that she was completely willing to call me out on my bullshit. She had no no problem making fun of me if I said something a little bit outrageous and she had no problem making fun of me if I was going a little bit over the top and trying to impress her. And I found this incredibly attractive. And on that same note, feel free to be a little bit sarcastic sometimes. Now if you use sarcasm too much, yes, it can be definitely overwhelming and I'm sure you've met a guy who's just way too sarcastic and he couldn't just be real. But at the same time, if you find that you're not being playful on dates, you're not having a good time, or especially if you're meeting guys online, feel free to use a little bit of sarcasm will spice up the conversation a little bit. Next, be a little bit impulsive. Are you on a date with a guy and the conversation's getting a little bit dull? Well, maybe grab his hand, tell him to come with you and go play like the basketball game while you're out on a date. And finally, don't be afraid to have some inside jokes. Inside jokes are a great way to really be able to bond because it's really something that only you two know about. It's kind of like the secret that no one else knows about. And once you start to develop inside jokes and create them uh, as you get to know a guy, it's amazing how much it brings you two together. Now you're noticing a theme about all of this and it's all about being playful and fun. But I need you to remember, of course, I'm not saying that relationships and who you ultimately settle down with needs to be this like laid back process. I want you to be very playful about when you're going out on a date, when you're talking to people, when you're meeting new people, but be very serious and intentional about who you settle down with. And the worst thing that you can do when you are going out and dating and meeting new guys is to apply that seriousness and that focus and that interview style to a first date. I can almost guarantee you that if you are sitting down across from a guy and you are being totally serious and telling him how important it is for you to find a relationship, I guarantee he will never ever call you again. So there you have it. You can be the most attractive woman he has ever met if you can apply playfulness to your encounters together. So I want to hear from you in the comments right there below. Do you also find it attractive when a man can be playful with you? Leave a comment below. And also if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like on YouTube and also 
don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more videos just like this. And finally, if you want to learn the three-step process to getting back out there and attracting the one and finding the relationship that you truly deserve, go ahead and click right over there or click in any links that are on this video or maybe up there. And I cannot wait to help you find the love of your life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.